welcome in this video we are going to see noise noise unwanted electrical signals that are mixed with original message signal during the transmission or processing of information through the communication channel are called as noise signals noise distorts the original message signal generally noise can be found in two forms that is predictable or unpredictable the predictable form of noise can be easily identified estimated as well as eliminated by adopting various methods however the unpredictable form of noise is time dependent and varies randomly as the time changes thus this noise is uncontrollable and generally the term noise is used only to define unpredictable or random noise noise can be broadly classified into two types external noise and internal noise external noise the noise which is due to the sources outside the receiver is termed as external noise external noise is classified into man made noise and natural noise natural noise is again divided into atmospheric noise and extraterrestrial noise man made noise or industrial noise man made or industrial noise is caused due to the production of unwanted electrical signals from electrical appliances like electric motors automobile aircraft ignition fluorescent lights and so on it can be controlled and can be eliminated man made noises are more effective in the frequency range of 1 to 500 megahertz it is most intense in the densely populated metropolitan and industrial areas that's why it is called as industrial noise atmospheric noise or static noise it is naturally occurring electrical disturbances that originate within earth's atmosphere this type of noise does not occur regularly it is caused by lightning thunderstorms and intergalactic or other atmospheric disturbances this noise is unpredictable in nature and is also known as static noise extraterrestrial noise extraterrestrial noise signals are present in the space and are generally observed in the frequency range of 8 megahertz to 1.43 gigahertz there are two types of extraterrestrial noise solar noise and cosmic noise solar noise the primary source of solar noise is sun the sun radiates a wide range of signals in a broad noise spectrum which includes the frequencies we use for communication cosmic noise cosmic noise is caused due to the effect of stars cosmic noise affects the frequency ranging from 15 kilohertz to 150 megahertz it is similar to solar noise but sometimes it is more predominant internal noise the noise which is created inside the receiver that is through the active and passive components present in the receiver circuit is termed as internal noise the primary sources of this noise are resistors diodes transistors etc types of internal noise thermal noise short noise transit time noise and white noise thermal noise the noise which is produced by random motion of electron in a conductor or due to thermal agitation is termed as thermal noise 
generally the thermal noise power pn is directly proportional to product of its absolute temperature t and noise power bandwidth b so we can write it as pn is proportional to tb pn equal to k t b pods where k boltzmann constant 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per kelvin t absolute temperature measured in kelvin b noise power bandwidth in hertz the mean square value of thermal noise voltage vtn across the noisy resistor is given by expected value of vtn square equal to 4 kt br volt square similarly the thermal noise current itn in a circuit having a noiseless conductance and a noisy current generator is given by expected value of itn square equal to 4 k t g b ampere square that's equal to expected value of v t n square divided by r where g is gain measured in db we all know that g equal to 1 by r short noise short noise is caused due to random variation in current flow in active components. Major sources are semiconductor diodes, transistors and vacuum tubes. It appears as a random noise current and gets superimposed on the output signal. Due to this, short noise is represented as a current source. The expression for short noise current in case of a vacuum or junction diode is given as in equal to square root of 2 q i naught b where in is rms noise voltage q charge of electron i naught dc bias current flowing in a device and b bandwidth transit time noise any change in a stream of carriers as they travel from input to output of a device produce an irregular and random variation noise. In a transistor, carriers travel from emitter to collector suffers from emitter time delays, base transit time delays, collector recombination time and propagation time delays. Transit time noise in transistor is determined by carrier mobility, bias voltage and transistor construction. White noise, a noise signal which contains all the frequencies in equal proportion is referred to as white noise. White noise is an idealist form of noise. Power spectral density of white noise is N of F equal to N naught divided by 2 where output noise power n0 equal to k into te k is boltzmann constant and t is equivalent noise temperature of the system thanks for watching take care